Good evening. I'm Megan Mangello. And I'm Paula Todi. In for Adam tonight, hundreds turn out to honor a Cincinnati food icon. Jean Robert de Cavell's funeral was held at St. Peter and Chains Cathedral. As Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us, it drew not only those in the local restaurant scene, but also a few world famous chefs who called Jean Robert a friend. St. Peter in Chains was filled for the service to honor and celebrate the life of Jean Robert. Many of the chefs who trained under him returned to pay their respects. I caught up with Danielle Baloud, a world-renowned chef and restaurant owner from New York. He shared a story about Jean Robert looking for a change in his culinary path. I said, Jean Robert, there is an opportunity in Cincinnati, there is an opportunity to become the chef at La Maisonette. Would you like to go there and, and check it out? And of course, he came to Cincinnati and the rest is his story. Baloud says Jean Robert helped put Cincinnati's food scene on the national and world stage. So many customers will come from Cincinnati to New York and say, oh, do you know Jean Robert? And, uh, they were, the, the, the first word they had to say was about their chef in Cincinnati, how proud they were. Jean Robert trained many of the chefs Baloud has worked with through the years, including the man next to him, William Nasev. I knew nothing when I started at his restaurant. And I just wanted a job, and he was nice enough to say yes. And, and I wanted to work at uh, Pigalle's, which is his flagship, and he didn't hesitate. Just, you know, hard work and passion was what was required to start, and then he could teach the rest. So. It wasn't only the fine dining community saying goodbye. Free Store Food Bank president Kurt Ryber says Jean Robert did so much for the city in terms of giving and helping those less fortunate. Our taste of the NFL, our taste of the Bengals event, uh, it was one of the top five throughout the entire country, primarily because of Jean Robert's involvement. Uh, in the 15 years that he was associated with it, we raised over a million dollars to provide over three million meals to families right here in our tri-state area. At St. Peter and Chains Cathedral Basilica downtown, I'm Christian Hauser. Jean Robert Tecaval died in his sleep late last month, four and a half years after being diagnosed with cancer.